Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I have a beautiful song by Led Zeppelin today. We're going to learn how to play Thank You. So this is all of Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, mostly acoustic, sort of, but we got a lot of electric guitar stuff on it too. So pretty much just going to do a strict kind of acoustic guitar arrangement of it. Um, so all the little layers won't won't exactly be there, but we'll have you know you can kind of play this track straight through, and we're gonna get all the really cool all the really cool kind of stuff in there too. So I'm gonna put it all together into one part, really. All right, and we'll also cover the solo, which is really cool too. So let's start here. We are in standard tuning. Actually, before I start, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. That's very very important. And uh, check out my Guitar Academy. Link is in the description. It's got all my guitar courses covering a, just tons of topics. So um, if you like what I do over here on YouTube, please go check that out because that's my best stuff, the stuff over there. All right, enough of that. So let's jump in here. We're going to start with this opening uh, riff. So it just starts with a regular D major chord. And we have that melody that happens on the high E string. So, so that's just, you know, keep holding the D and then on the high E string you'd play three, two, zero, two, zero, two, like. So basically you're playing that melody over the chord, but you're playing the chord with it. So just kind of memorize that melody first. And then add that, hold a D chord and just do that on the top string. We kind of continue the same process except we're going to move here to this C in the bass. So we're going to move over to the third fret of the low uh, on the A string there. And you're going to have the open G string now, so you're going to lift that finger up. So now you just basically have the third fret on the B and the high E, but. So you're still doing. You have the open D and the open G in there, but you're still gonna do that same melody on the high E string over that. So we have this together. See, I kind of hit the bass note first, and then I did the strums. And then what we have is we have a hammer, we hit the open A string first, and then hammer on the second fret. So hammer on the second fret there on that A string, and then once again you're going to be grabbing, uh, you have the open G, and then the third fret on the B, third fret on the high E string, with that same melody up on the high E string. So we have this. Take it back to a regular D chord, and then it's just pretty much just, which is just strum that D a little bit, and then add the uh, sus four, which is just that adding the note there to the third from the high, and repeat. So we have. So 
actually just do that twice there. And then, uh, you know, we just have that kind of organ effect happening for the verse. Now, the, the chords that is, the, is going on there in the organ, when there's no guitar there, um, is just the a D major chord. The sun refused to shine. So then it just goes to a standard C major chord. So if the sun refused to shine. Then it goes to a G major chord in first inversion. So it basically just means you have a G major chord. Um, this is the third fret on the high E and the B there, that version of the G chord. Open G, open D, and then the second fret there on the A string, that's a B. And so it's basically that B is in the bass. Instead of adding the low G there, you're just going to stop there at the fifth fret. So you're not going to put the G in the bass. You're just going to stop here at this second fret of the A string, which is a B in the bass. I will still be you. Back to a D. So. Then he sings, he continues the second half of the verse. He plays the exact same chords, but he starts kind of arpeggiating them. So I'm not going to kind of stick with this pattern there, just like. He is, when he's arpeggiating that C chord, he adds the third fret on the high E string there. So it's a different version of the C chord. So just add that note there. So instead of the open high E, it's the third fret. And then everything else is the same. There will still be you and me. All right, so it's just kind of, kind of picking across the strings for those that second half. When the mountains crumble to the sea, there will still be. Alright, so don't worry about getting the pattern exactly right. It's kind of random what he's doing there. So just kind of pick across it and have fun with it. Uh, the patterns that happen later are a bit more important, so I will cover those later. Alright, and then we have the next section. Alright, so that starts with just a B minor chord. So we have a bar at the second fret there, third fret on the B, fourth fret on the G and a D. So it's got straight eighth note strums there, just all down strokes. Then it goes to this version of an E major chord. So we're going to be barring the fourth fret across at least the first top three strings. So uh, we have a bar there, the fourth fret on the high E, fifth fret on the B, and then that fourth fret again on the G. So leave bar that. And then you add the sixth fret on the D and the seventh fret on the A string. And you can hit the low E in there too. So we have this. That again. Now, when you go back down to this B minor, you can just strum straight across. It sounds like there's a little bit of. Sounds like he's strumming it and then he's picking it and then pulling off to the open A string and then coming back down to the B chord. But it's very slight, so you don't really have to do it. You can just strum the B minor. I just wanted to put that there just in case you heard it too. Do it like that, and, and then we're back to the E major, and then an A major chord. So that's just a standard A major chord. Though. So we have this. All right, and then this. I kind of consider this part the chorus. Sounds like this.
So that's just a C major chord. And then that same G major would be in the bass, so G major in first inversion. To the D. And then just on the D chord, when you get there, we're doing those variations again. And these are a little bit more random than before. So we're just... He's just kind of messing around with playing a D major chord, a D sus4, which is the third fret on the high E, or the D sus2, which is the second, I mean, so the open string, open high E. So we have this. And then just go through the chords again. So you can just kind of make up your own little figure there if you want. It goes back through the same chords we did before. All right, and um, so that just kind of ends it. Then we go back, basically leading into the solo. We first, before you hear that, you hear the uh, kind of the intro riff again. So let me play through the solo for you real quick. I'll kind of play coming out of that riff so you know when I pick up. All right, so here we go. So a really nice solo there. So just coming out of that riff, we have this. So I'll just start with that. That's kind of the lead in there. So we have this four, five, seven on the D, then four, six, seven on the G. So we have. So. And then we have this first phrase when the solo actually kicks in. So that right there, we have. We're gonna start with the seven nine on the D, on the G string. I'm sorry. Then play seven eight ten on the B string. Up to the seventh fret there on the high E string. Then back down ten eight seven on the B. So we have this. From there, we go over to the seventh. I'm sorry, the ninth fret on the G, back to the seventh fret on the uh, B string. So we have that. So from there, we have nine, seven, six, back up, seven, nine. Those are on the G. So. Then seven, eight on the B. So I'll play through that slow. So you, right, or let's make sure I didn't miss something there. We hit that when we hit that ten, eight, seven. So I think we got it. But when we go back up to that seventh fret on the B string, and then we go back down. Nine, seven, six, back up, seven, nine, and then seven, eight on the B. So one, one more time, slow. And then we're going to end this first phrase with the seventh fret on the uh, high E string and then play 
10 a couple of times on the B, and then um, 8 a couple of times on the B. Alright, now from there we have this. All right, so that's a quick little lick that's in there. So let me just, first, before that happens, we have seven, eight, 10 on the B string, and then seven on the high E string. And then we have this really fast lick. So that, I like to kind of economy pick that. So let me show you the notes real quick. It's done twice. We're gonna play seven, number six, seven, nine on the G. Then seven, eight, ten on the B, and then you're gonna end it at that seventh fret on the high E string. So it's a quick little seven note burst. And how I'm doing it is I'm picking down, up, down, down. So I'm picking two down strokes from the uh, a down on the G into a down on the B string. So that's economy picking. So you're not doing strict alternative picking. So we have down, up, down, down, then up, down, up, down. So we have once again, leaving the B string with that, on that 10th fret, you have a down stroke into a down stroke on the, um, uh, the high string. So those are actually just one stroke across strings. It sounds like he's kind of doing something like that too because it's got that kind of smooth quality about it. It's not as percussive as if you alternately picked it. So after you got that... So after you get that, that top, top note... It just comes back down the B string, couple, hitting the 10th fret and the 8th fret a couple times over the uh, 7th fret, I'm sorry, the 9th fret on the G, and then... Then back to the eighth fret on the B, and resolve it there at the seven. There, so we have this. All right, now we have this next phrase. So that's gonna play uh, seven six twice on the uh, G string, and then over to ninth fret there on the D, back to the sixth fret there on the G. Then play seven nine on the uh, D string, five seven on the D, then four five. So it is. Then you go back to the four here, and you're gonna play four on the D over to seven on the A twice. And then resolve that to the fifth fret there on the A. So we have. All right, from there, we're gonna play uh, four, five, seven on the uh, A string and the D. All right, and then uh, we really kind of have the last section of the solo, it's like this. All right, so that's gonna start seven, nine on the D, then six, seven, nine on the G string, then play seven, eight on the B. And then you're gonna skip over now, don't go to the 10, go from that seven, eight on the B over to the seven on the high E string. So this. So after you get to that seventh fret, then come down ten, eight, seven over on the B string, over to nine on the G, then back to the seventh fret on the uh, B string. So we have this. And then we have this. basically do that like three times. We have eight and then hitting seven twice with some bar bottom. All right, and then we're back to really just another verse riff, which is just like. Yeah. 
All right, and then we have this really cool lick, that section that happens here. Um, so this first one, the first time you hear it, it sounds like this. section so that r lick is uh, really cool it's kind of I think it's really on like electric guitar with some cool spacey effects but we're gonna do it on acoustic so that right there we're gonna play the 10th fret on the B then the open high E string then the 7th fret on the B and then the open high E again so I this then over to the seventh fret there on the G string. So that's gonna have two six, um, uh, two groups of sixteenths, and then a little eighth note there on the. And then we have this. You're gonna now. I, I'm just using my index finger for that note there on the seventh fret of the G. I'm gonna reach over with my ring finger. I mean, sorry, middle finger, and go. So I'm playing 7, slide to 9, then the 8th fret there on the B string, and then uh, slide back from that 9 back to 7. Now that timing of that is, these are, you're really hearing this, but that slide right there is kind of like a, a grace note into it, so you're not really, it, it should, it's, should be like those two notes make up the final 16th though, so it's like, one, E, and, uh. So we have this. From there we have the open D, and then the second fret there on the um, A string. And then we have, we're to the C chord. gets to the G there. So uh, let's play the C, just a C major chord, pick across from the A to the D to the G to the B, and then we have a quick hammer on. Hammer zero, uh, open G string, hammer on two, and then play that first fret there on the B again. So we have this. You pick across those four middle strings, then you do the hammer, and then play that first fret on the B. Now I'm going to do a pull off at the second fret there on the uh, D string. Pull off to the open D, over to the A string third fret, which you're kind of which you're kind of holding already. So yeah, you can just hold that C around all that. Go over there and grab the second fret there on the D. Pull off to the open string, back to the a string there and then the open D. So it is. So that comes out of this. Alright, and then we have this next section which is kind of across the uh, G chord. Now, so after this. I just, on the C chord, we have this. We have, we're going to pull off from 2 to 0 again on the D. And then you're going to play the 2nd fret there on the A. Open D. Open G. And 1st fret on the B. So we have this. And then we have a series of 16th notes going down with some legato. So we're going to pull off 2 to 0 on the G. And 2 to 0 on the D. And then hammer 0 to 2 on the A. So that whole measure looks like this. So coming from the C chord looks like this. All right, and then we get to the last chord, just a D major chord. I'm gonna pick straight across it from the open D string. And then the G. Then the high E again, and then the B string. So we this. Uh, 
All right, so then you're gonna strum just kind of the top two strings and hammer on there that third fret of the uh, high E string. And then, once again, some more variations there. Is that three, two, open, and two. So and that takes us to that And then we're back to the another verse where we have another one of these figures. So, okay. so the same chord. So just like the first verse there, um, and but we now have another one of these figures. It looks like this. It starts fading out there. Um, so we have now when you hear this second time, you hear this, you really hear kind of two guitars kind of kind of echoing one acoustic, one electric coming in together. Um, so I just said, you know what, let's just play it like the first time we heard it. So I'm just doing it exactly like the first time we played it. And then just the, the patterns that we now pick are a little bit different here towards the outro. So that is, we're across the C chord again. So we click across from the A to the B string again. And then back to the G, D, G, D. So it's all just eighth notes. All right, and then here we have some hammer-ons and pull-offs. It looks like this. So that's hammering zero to two on the A. And then hammer zero to two and pull back off to the open uh, D string. So on the D string, hammer zero to two, pull back off to the open, and then hit the open A again. So like this. Now we do the same lick again, except that last note instead of being the open A string will be the second fret there on the A. So we have this. So coming from the C. All right, so basically that's those two parts make up the, the C to the G transition. So that over the C chord. So it does all eight, eight notes. And then over the G chord. And then to the D chord, we have this. back and you can just kind of do your own thing after that. So we had this open D, second fret there on the G, you gotta reach up to the fifth fret there on the high E string. So I'm doing a bar here with my index finger so I can now grab the second fret on the high E, so like this. Because it sounds good if you just make these notes ring together as much as possible. Then you're gonna pull off three to two on the high E string, and then over to three on the B. And then pull, hit three again, pull off to the open beat. And then to the second fret there on the G, so we have this. All right, from there, we're gonna have, pulling off, pick that two again, pull off to the open G, and then play the fourth fret there on the D, so we have this. And then we have a series of 16th notes here, a couple of beats. So we have this pull off from two to zero on the D, hammer on zero two on the A. So, and then hammer uh, back on the D string, hammer zero to two, pull back off to zero of the open, and then play two on the uh, A string. So we have this. And then we're just going to end it with the open D, 
and then the second fret on the A again, just as eighth notes, and then we're back to the C. Uh, so we have this for the whole D section. The rest of the song is pretty much that, just that you hear that C and the, the G with the bass and then the organ, and then you hear you hear basically the D chord again, but you, you hear a lot of the A in the bass, so you can just kind of strum the A string in the bass. In. If you just want to, that little outro section, those three, just kind of pick across those. And that'll sound pretty good. So it's got it's kind of involved in certain sections, uh, little intricate parts here, uh, but and some of it is very simple. But it's just a, a beautiful song. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, learning it today, and I will see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.